हे फोक्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द फ्लटर डेवलपमेंट कोर्स बॉट टू यू बाय न्यूटन स्कूल फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु आर वंडरिंग हु आई एम सो माई नेम इज़ हर्ष कुमार खत्री एंड आई बी और इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर दिस फ्लटर डेवलपमेंट कोर्स आई एम करेंटली वर्किंग एज एन इंटरन एट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इनफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई हैव बीन एन एक्स फ्लटर डेवलपर इंटरन एट अ फॉर्म नेम डेवस्क्रिप्ट वेर माई प्राइमरी गोल वॉज टू डेवलप फ्लटर एप्लीकेशन टोटली फ्रॉम स्क्रैच आई एम ऑल्सो एन इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑन यूडमी एंड एडियोनिक्स वेर माई फ्लटर डेवलपमेंट कोर्सेज है मोर दैन टेन थाउजेंड प्लस एनरोलमेंट्स सो make sure to check them out as well and now coming to words what newton school is so basically newton school is a platform which helps you to learn and develop your skills that you need for your best tech career there are courses specifically designed for freshers working professionals and for women with no prior experience in tech newton school first trains you for 6 months and helps you develop a full stack developer it is also having a network of more than 300 great companies who are directly from newton school So once the training is complete Newton School also ensures that you are placed with one of the best companies in the country there is also a pay after placement program where you don't have to pay Newton School anything until you are placed with a minimum CTC of 5 lakh rupees per annum they are also having another awesome initiative known as launchpad where you are provided with some of the courses for free of cost and you can uh, work on those courses and the code uh, which is present in that uh, courses uh, on their online editor which is available for free of cost as well so you can practice your code over there and once you are completing uh, these courses you are also getting a certificate of completion so make sure to check out newton school and launchpad through the link given in the description now coming towards the topic for the today's video so in this video i am going to cover about the timeline tile package or the timeline tile plugin uh, whatever uh, you may call it so we i am going to cover about that in this particular video and i'll be telling you the complete implementation for that as well so let me give you a gist of why you should be using this package so you must have seen in flutter or in any other website or a uh, language whatever you might be using or you prefer to use so whenever there is a case when you want to list some of the things in an ascending order or in an order of what they have occurred so that particular thing you want to list in a form of a timeline so this package or this plugin will be allowing you or providing you with some of the features which you can use or which you can implement uh, the that particular thing with so you you can add various different widgets you can add various different uh, items uh, images text although they fall under the widget category only but you can add all of those things uh, in a form of a timeline as well you can add various different text which are available uh, in a form of a timeline so this is the basic use of the timeline tile uh, package which is present in uh, flutter so now let me switch my screen and let's start working on its implementation so here you can see that i have switched my screen and opened the app which we have worked on in the previous video so i have deleted each and everything which was not necessary for this particular app or this particular part of the video and now i'll be starting by implementing the very first widget which i'll be covering in this video so that is timeline tiles so i'll open google and uh, will search timeline tiles underscore flutter so the first link which i'll be getting on uh, the uh, after the search i'll be clicking on that and i'll be going under the installing section after under after going into the installing section i'll copy the dependency and we'll go back to the pubspec.yml file and we'll paste the package over here and hitting control s will be running flutter pub get command in the background and the package will be fetched for us so until the package is fetched let's wait and then i'll start the implementation of this so the package is fetched over here let me start with the implementation so here you can see that inside the scaffold we are having nothing so i'll start by adding a body at first which will be having a container with the width as media query dot of context dot size dot width after this i'll be adding a child to it which will be of a type column and this will be having a main axis alignment set to main axis alignment dot center after this adding a cross axis alignment as well as we have already added the width to the container so cross axis alignment will be working in this particular case next adding some children's to this container so i'll be starting by adding the very first children to be the timeline uh, tile itself so for that i need to type timeline tile over here 
and it will be providing me with an option over here clicking enter it has uh, added the timeline tile now this takes uh, various different options as you can see on your screens like it takes a key it takes an axis it takes alignment uh, indicator style xy axis indicator is first is last and so on i'll be adding or i'll be showing you e uh, implementation of each of these one by one so let's start with the indicator style so it takes a widget of type int indicator itself so indicator style over here and inside it we can also pass various different things like the width and height for the indicator the color for the indicator if we want to add uh, any particular widget as an indicator so we can add that too i'll start by adding a color so color would be of color red after that we can also pass uh, the height and width to it so let me add the height i'm adding it as 30 for now and width to be 30 as well for now hitting control s and seeing how it looks inside our app so here you can see that the indicator has been displayed to you like uh, a red circular indicator is displayed along with the lines on the top and bottom which are being displayed so this takes us to the next property which is present inside this timeline tile which is is first and is last so what is first do is uh, it provides you an option to disable each of these lines like the top line which is available over here and the bottom line which is available over here so if you want uh, this particular thing or uh, this particular line to be disabled you need to set the value of is first as true so this will be telling the widget tree or telling flutter that uh, this particular indicator is the first one in the list so we don't need any top line for it whereas if we are setting the value of is last to true as well so it will be disabling this bottom line as well so let me comment this down for now and save it so that uh, you can see over here that uh, that uh, as i have said that is first as true it is disabled the top line and when i am uh, setting this as true as well it will be disabling the bottom line as well so accordingly you can use uh, this particular thing if you are adding the items and you want the item to be a top one or a bottom one so in that particular case you can use uh, these properties as well let me comment them both of them for now moving towards the next property which is present uh, which is the before line style so we are having the before line and the after line and the center one which is the circle is present so this circle is an indicator so we can also set the styles for the before line and the after line so these basically takes a property or a, a widget kind of thing which is uh, equals to line style so line style also takes multiple things like the color and the thickness so we can uh, set the thickness of the line which is available by default it is set to 4 and for the color we can uh, it is basically default set to gray but we can change that to like colors dot yellow uh, colors dot yellow for now and you can see that the color of the before line and the uh, line have, have been changed over here so similarly we are having the other line as well so let me so here the after line is present and line style the color would be colors dot black so here you can see that as i have set the property for the after line and before line both of these properties have taken place and the color have been updated so if i am not setting the after line style property over here it will be adding the color of before line to the after line as well so if you want uh, different colors to be implemented for each of them so make sure to add both of these properties over here now moving towards the next part which is the alignment property which is uh, present inside this timeline tile so basically we can add timeline alignments to this so here you can see that center end manual and start these are all the alignments which you can add to it adding an alignment at hitting control s so you can see that as the alignment is added to be center so this timeline has uh, shifted itself to center automatically now moving towards the next property which is the end child so end child basically takes a widget so if we want this particular uh, widget or the particular timeline to have a end child as well then we can specify that too so for uh, i have specified the end child to be a container of height 50 and of width 80 and having a color as colors dot pink saving it and seeing the thing in the action so here you can see that it is showing the end child 
so what end child and start child means for this uh, particular uh, timeline is that uh, the timeline would be the center point uh, for the visit everything which is on the right of this timeline would be an end child and everything on the left of this timeline would be the start child so as i have added a end child over here it is displaying the thing uh, on the right side and if i'll be adding a start child to this as well so let me add that too so for the start child let me copy this container only and i'll be changing the color to be orange now you can see over here that it has added the start child and the end child both and start child is on the left whereas end child is on the center so these were some of the properties or the essential properties which are present inside this uh, we have other properties as well like is first is last a key to identify this particular uh, timeline tile if we are having multiple timeline tiles inside our, our app so if we want to uh, like uh, identify this particular thing separately so in that particular case we can pass a key to it as well we can specify the axis for this like it, it should be vertical or it should be uh, in the horizontal format we can also add the has indicator property so if we want the pro, uh, indicator the circular option which is available to be visible or not to be visible then the in that particular case we can set a boolean variable to has indicator property we are also having this line x y property which is for uh, setting the axis for the x and y values so this takes a value between 0 to 1 and we can set the properties to these as well so these were some of the uh, properties which I have shown you uh, or I have implemented inside this timeline tile. So you can use this whenever you are uh, you want the user to show up uh, to display a particular timeline thing or if you want the widgets to be displayed in particular timeline order. So you can prefer using this timeline tile. So this was it for this particular video and in this video I have covered about a plugin which is named as timeline tile plugin which is basically used for adding or implementing the things, uh, things in an order of what uh, they have occurred or like uh, displaying a beautiful UI to the user in a form of a timeline. So, uh, we have covered the total implementation from scratch and I have shown you an example as well like how you can implement that inside your project and if you are working on any of the projects implementing them so make sure to post them out as well so that uh, uh, tagging me and Newton School so that we can also share those and see what uh, good things you are developing. Apart from that, uh, drop a like on this video if you have got to learn something new from this video. Share this video with the people in your community who are talking about Flutter or who want to start their journey with Flutter development. Subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates related to the Flutter development course which is going on on this channel. A new video is posted every alternate day so make sure to subscribe to the channel to get all the updates and also comment down below what you have got to learn from this video and what all things would you love to see in the upcoming videos i'll be happy to inculcate all those comments which you are doing in the flutter course structure which i am going to teach in the upcoming videos as well so uh, don't forget to check out newton school and uh, launchpad through the link given in the description so they are doing amazing work so make sure to check them out as well and thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for all the upcoming ones